Hello everybody, thank you so much for clicking on my video and taking a look at this LEGO Star Wars Hothmark. This is part two of my big Hothmark, I'm just zooming out now. So you can see that was part one, the base entrance. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll put the links to it at the end of this video. You can see that this part is a much smaller build, but with a bit more detail. I'm just showing you that the this is a unit that will eventually be placed quite high up at the back of the base, probably on some kind of mountain, so that they can all look out across the base, or certainly Admiral Akbar can, as he gives his briefings. So I'm calling this Hoth Command. I've tried to cram in as many features and detail as I can, most of which are my own workings, my own designs, a few things I've borrowed from an old LEGO Star Wars set called Home Worm. I think it was set 7754. In particular, the chair that Admiral Akbar sat on. So I thought that was a really cool idea. So in that set, it, the chair moved around, um, but I've also made mine so that he can go left and right, so he can see all parts of his team that he's briefing, and then he can then turn around and look out the other way and see what's, see what's coming through the base entrance, maybe. Um, I think the, well, I know the Death Star also comes from that set and the kind of corner design here and here for the seats um, are also inspired by that set too. So that was one of my favourite sets um, from Star Wars, which is probably quite an old one now. This is the mechanism that controls the seat. Um, so um, the black tubes and then just going through a a two by one with the hole in on the side it's pretty pretty cool so i said i'm going to have this up on a mountain i'll need to make sure that i can still access this part to move them around once it's in place um the whole thing is 32 that's a 32 and a 16 and i think it's about 15 blocks high so even though i said it's a smaller build compared to my entrance actually it's still quite quite a lot of lego here and it, this did take quite a long time to build so We've got the briefing area, um, so mainly X-Wing pilots being briefed and a couple of the Rebel Snowtroopers, an R2 unit there at the front. I did think should he be beaming the hologram for the Death Star in and I, I, I tried to do that but couldn't make it look good enough so I've just kept the, the, the Death Star being hologrammed from these little orange pieces here. And then generally the uh, the, the pilots don't look too happy with whatever Admiral, Admiral Akbar is telling them, probably that it's a trap, that's one of his uh, favourite phrases, but uh, hopefully the Rebels will come up with a good plan to deal with whatever's coming up. I've taken part of the front off so I can get the camera in a bit closer to show you the back of the Hoth Command. This, this here is actually most of the parts for one of the old Cloud City car pod sets, you know, the ones that used to come with a big planet. Um, so in my in my world, this is now the main power supply for the command centre. So you've got the pipes that, in my imagination, feed down through to lots of uh, other electronics and pipes to keep things going. And then across the top here, we've got another power supply, which will feature throughout my my base, my final mock. In Hoth, on in the movies, it's obviously very messy. Lots of wires. I think uh, Carriage of No Return. You pointed that out in my previous video. So although this area is quite um, quite new looking and quite um, well formed, when I have open areas of the base, they're going to look very messy, lots of boxes and wires going across the floor. So got a few steps going up from the briefing area. And uh, the idea is that this will be a busy corridor with people toing and throwing, some computer and screens on the back wall there. Not sure if the focus is working quite right. This here is a gun store, so those being brief can pop their guns up, keep them nice and safe. And uh, the doorways, so they're I quite like this this how this turned out here. That was wasn't wasn't sure how that was going to work, but it's it's all right. So this will lead to probably a further computer room, and on the other side, that will probably and I still haven't thought this through yet, lead out to some steps going down and then down to the the medical chamber, which I've yet to build. So. Just going to zoom out so you can see a bit more of the detail. As I mentioned, I've, I've taken taken the top off so I can get in closer. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Bit of a quick tour, even though it took me ages to build. Um, 
I had to wait for some pieces to come in and uh, it was quite hard to kind of get it right. There's a lot of detail going on in here and around the back a lot, lots of planning had to take place. There has been quite a long gap between my first video and this one, but the next two or three videos should come in a much quicker time now. So I've got some pieces ready to help with finishing off the gate and maybe the next mountain uh, is not too far away as well. One more thing before we go, there is what will be snow falling through the base. So on, on the other side of that wall will be part of the snow mountain. So I thought it would be cool to have the snow coming in. So even though my Hoff base is well established, obviously the, uh, the snow on the mountain will always uh, be much stronger compared to what the rebels have built within the, the Hoff caves. Okay, well, let me say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the quick tour. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with, with what I'm building and how my Hoff forms. And uh, well, thank you again for watching and see you next video. Bye bye.